Greetings to you all, it's Justin here again from Concrete Pumping Equipment. Alongside me is Hi. Don Toombs. We are just um, pointing out the rear control panel. Uh, as you can see it's very well illuminated considering it is still daytime here. And uh, you'll see the strip, LED light strip, which certainly uh, is fantastic at night time, another key feature. Don, what do some of these uh, buttons do here? Okay, this is your e-stop clear. This is pump on, pump off. This is rotation of the remixer in one direction. This is water filling your water box if you have that option. This particular truck doesn't. This is your water pump for wash out. This one here is accumulator. You press it and the accumulator powers up. This is reverse pumping. This one reverses the remixer the opposite way. Auto greaser, high pressure water washout if you've got it, high pressure water pump. Horn, this stops the pumping if you want to stop pumping or you can repress these buttons. This one here is hopper lights. This is very good lighting. They're up inside the hopper there. Fantastic at night again, Don, if you want to see what you're getting up to at the rear end of the machine. And our last two here are vibrator and this is for the drop hose, for lighting the drop hose. Fantastic. And nice cover over the front. Yeah, so obviously there are many, 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 many features that can be added or subtracted to a Putzmeister machine. While he's pointing in this direction, your concrete driver comes, where does he put his dockets? Usually with a stone on the rear guard. Well, in this case, he just opens this box, puts the dockets in here, shuts the box. At right. the end of the job, all your dockets contain. They haven't blown away. Fantastic, Don. How about the rear of the machine? Let's go and have a look at a few little features. Okay, this device here, spring-loaded device, so that when you put your hammer in here, it holds tension on it. It doesn't bounce out while you're driving down the road. Great idea. Uh, we have dual horn buttons. One there and one on the side here. So when you've got two concrete trucks loading, each driver can reach the uh, the horn button. When you're washing out, you put your sponge ball through, drop your pin, pumps up the line. When you suck it back, it only gets as far as here, and that's it. It's as simple as that. Fantastic. That's great. Um, Looking up into the hopper, you'll see now that. Uh, our vibrators cabling's all run nicely. It's very nicely protected along here, steel pipe, so you don't have concrete rubbing against the wiring and um, causing issues. Excellent. Now, just pointing out too that uh, Putzmeister uh, had designed these grates to separate. Now, we've only really just learnt this, and uh, I apologise for our uh, ignorance perhaps, but um, basically each section is designed to pull off and be replaced. Uh, it appears that um, not so many people knew about this feature and uh, in fact uh, they have now gone back to just one a one piece structure yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Well. Correct. So so basically you were able to remove these but uh, going forward uh, it will just be a, a one back to the original one piece hopper system. Um, Hopper great system. Around here, if you've got dirty hands, concrete all over your hands, or you want to fill your bucket for the slurry first thing in the morning, you put your bucket up here, step folds out of the way, your bucket down here. Nice for washing the hands. Ideal. What's this little black contraption here for, Mr. Toombs? Yes. Put your sponge balls in it, you fill it up with water, about half full, sponge balls in it, you drive to the job, the sponge ball soaks up the water. When you're ready to clean out, you take a sponge ball out, put it through the line. When the water gets dirty, you simply put it upside down, the water runs out. Real simple. Very, very good idea. Also, you'll see that our outrigger pads are mounted on each leg. That makes it very, very easy um, for, for quick and easy access. They, ac they actually come out with the legs, so when you bring your legs right out to the position, you don't have to walk back to your truck to get your pads. Better on the body too, I would imagine. Righty ho, that's sort of it for, for now. Just a couple of uh, uh, key features we've, we've pointed out, little extras, and uh, you know.
know, that's the difference when purchasing a Putzmeister. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.